Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to call an API and we're going to load the data that is returned by that API into our Power BI. So stay tuned, but before we start, let's watch my intro. So before I'll show you how to call an API from our Power BI desktop, let's first look at what the API would return. And this is the API that I'm going to call. And that would be the API open AQorg version 1 countries. And this will return some listing of the countries. So once that is called, let's look at what it is being returned. And that you can see in here that it is a listing of all the countries with the code and then the locations and the number, I think, of cities and also the population. So that's the API. So I'm just going to minimize that. And now in our desktop, how to call an API, I'm going to open the transform data so that we will be redirected to our Power Query editor. And in here, we're going to create a new query, which is just a blank query. And then in the blank query, we're going to call the JSON document, open bracket, web contents, and then passed on the API that we're going to call. And that's it. Once you have done that, all we need to do is just press the parse and then edit the credentials. If you have some login, you can paste the key in here or put in the username and password. But this one in here is we can connect to it anonymously. So I will hit the connect button and that will grab the API. And we have here that is return the record and the list. We can now click on the list and it gives us all the records in there. And then all we need to do it is hit the to table and then that will be placed into a table. We have a column now. And all we need to do is click on that expand button and then choose the columns that you would like and then hit the OK button. And that is now the data that was returned by our API. So as we have seen, it is pretty easy to call an API from our Power BI desktop. Use the JSON.document and pass on web content and the URL of your API. I hope you've learned something from this session. If you did, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.